I think the more we learn about each other, the better off we all are. Yeah. Okay. Well, uh, Valerie Cunningham has done such great work with uh, the, the, the uh, Black Heritage Trail, and now she's working on the uh, uh, Slave Cemetery and that whole project. Yeah. And uh, without her, I don't know where we'd be because uh, she, she's just a, a dynamo of energy. Well, she's been very instrumental to me, help, helping me uh, with all that I've been able to do with my work as well. She's been quite instrumental. Her and uh, a man named Eric Tubison, uh, who, when I went to look at his will, it actually still exists, the original will. When I opened up the packet, the name fell out. Richard Alpin. Eric Tubison. A man, no, <laughs> a man from Illinois. I tracked him down on the internet. In 1995, he was a history major here at UNH for his thesis to graduate with his uh, uh, master's uh, in history. His thesis was titled, A People of Color, Race and Racial Identification in New Hampshire, 1725 to 1850. And the entire thesis is close to 80 pages long, almost 30 pages are just on Wentworth Cheswell really? mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. in this thesis. And that's where I got most of my knowledge and information about Wentworth Cheswell from that thesis. Had you located him in the cemetery here? Wentworth? When, when you were doing the... When you, yeah, how did oh, you come about the yeah. thesis? Yeah, how did you find that he was located here? Wentworth Cheswell? Yeah. Well, I got a letter from a woman in um, uh, Sacramento, California. Uh, to my house and resident 204 South Main. And she was wondering if anything was being done about the Cheswell graveyard near my house. And I came over and I looked and I saw that every headstone that you see standing today was, I've got pictures, they were laying in the ground and being consumed by the ground. And if you could read a, a, a circle of maybe a foot, a foot and a half of every one of those stones there, you were fortunate. That's all that was there of this graveyard when I started working on it. But with the help of the New Hampshire Old Graveyard Association and many of the descendants, we've removed trees, um, we've stumped the trees, we've done landscaping, we've put in flowers, we've got many donations. Um, New Market Sand and Gravel donated all this gravel today. Houghton's Highway donated all the urns. Wadley Falls uh, uh, Driving Range donated all the flowers. Carpenters donated the soil. Um, it's a it's a community project. The community is now just finally becoming aware of this important individual and, and how he helped form the town of Newmarket, and they're willing to come to the bat and do what needs to be done to recognize this man as the important individual that he was and, and how he... This man literally devoted his entire adult life to this town. His, every single year of his life, it is well recorded that he served the town in some public capacity or another. He's done everything in this county, selectman, moderator, coroner, town clerk, auditor, assessor, and it's, it's all well documented. And this, and this fellow who came up with the uh, thesis dug it all up, and, and, and that's what I was able to use to send to the state so that they could verify it all. Do we have any pictures of him? <laughs> that's the hard part. <laughs> Nobody's been able to find one of them. I think that we do he's have died. a signature, which is quite striking. Can you show him the postcards? No, but I can. But uh, uh, the uh, I believe that he died in 1817. I think before cameras were invented. Am I not correct on yeah. that? Yeah, that's true. Cameras weren't invented prior to 1817. Mm -hmm. You might mention that you could furnish them a copy of that piece of fire. That's the only thing that we could find that would believe that was uh, yeah. that uh, we could use. I can furnish anybody a copy of the thesis. I can just send it well, to them as an attachment online. I'd love to have it. Yeah. We should, we should get that online. We can scan I will put, it and put it on the town's website. I can, but did you know that we just started a historical society website? It's just like in the beginnings. It's just newmarketnhhistoricalsociety.org. I've got a, an 18. It's got your phone number on it, though. That's what counts, because I needed it. Yeah. Um, I, I put up an 1827 town report, not a report, a town um, uh, what a directory, you know, town directory that's on there. Lots of great information in there. And um, as time goes on, we're going to be adding more and more stuff to it. But yeah. We should link it to the there. town's website for people who go there. I will, I think yeah, I'll, get, I'll have Doug do that. Yeah. Yeah. Along with this new video. Congratulations. Yeah. Yeah. Great job. Thank you. Thank you. Great job. All right, thank you. Thank, thank you. you. And we look forward to the memorial service. All right, yeah, in uh, the spring sometime. I'm not, you know what I'm thinking? He was born April 11th. 
to have a party. I was no a dedication ceremony. Well, that's what I mean. Have a party. Have a party. Yep. And a exactly. Celebrate uh, on his birthday. His birth. mm -hmm. yeah. April 11th. That wouldn't be a too bad. Make day. it a really big deal. You, yeah. What you're going to find is that uh, African American history is becoming a big thing, and people are coming from all over the world to these little places to see these kind of monuments and see where these people yeah. live. For instance, Amos Fortune. Anybody know who Amos Fortune was? Jaffrey. Jaffrey, New Hampshire. Yeah. This guy does more from age 71 to 91 when he died <laughs> than most people do in their entire life. Yeah. He donated money up on his death to the to the town for the library and all that sort of thing. They used the interest for that from that money about three years ago to buy three thousand dollars worth of uh, computers for the library. Right. Now he he made his money in tanning. Didn't he? Right. He was a tanner. He was a tanner. Yeah. Amazing. Wow. And he got to out of town. First move there, they told him to get out of town. He didn't have a job. Big smile. I gotta go get some Gatorade. <laughs> uh, I say, uh...